Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. This is your host, Steve. Up next is the Airfix 124 Scale Grumman F6F-5 Hellcat. This is going to be a quick review. I hope to get it done in less than 10 minutes. I'm going to highlight some of the in interesting areas about this kit, show you some of the parts, and let you decide for yourself. This is a fantastic kit, I think, and I think you'll enjoy this review. The kit is comprised of 572 pieces, 15 trees, and one clear tree. All these parts are jam-packed into a very large box. Coming from the UK, this kit was released June 21st, 2019. We got it a little bit later than the, the rest of the folks over in Europe, but I'm glad to finally have this kit uh, in my possession. Kit instructions comprise of 72 pages. It's like a book, and it's typical new uh, Airfix tooling instructions where they highlight uh, diff all the different parts in red here, uh, give you step by step. This is really a cool um, set of instructions, and where they really get into detail here, I'll highlight this just real quick, is during the engine build assembly. Uh, they get into the different different colors and what you're doing there. Also on top, you can build it three different ways, gear down, gear up, wing folded, wings out. So watch for that on the top of the instructions and you can decide how you want to build this. And lastly, they do give us a position of the internal decals for the instrument panels. And we do get those very nice three fold outs with all the different color schemes with the decals provided. The decals are very nice. They depict the French Air Force, US Navy version, FAA version of the Royal Navy. And just kind of giving you a closer look at the decal here, you can see they are finely printed and they look really good. Some folks have uh, incurred some folding and bending with their decals as they have arrived. Mine turned out in great shape. Most of the trees located in the box are separated in the middle so you can depart them if you need to. The only one that isn't is the fuselage part of the tree. Take note if you plan on storing your kit before you have a chance to build it. Note that on in my kit the fuselage halves were, were stacked on the bottom of the box so all the sprue trees were on top of it so you may want to open up your box and put the tree of your fuselage on top so not all the sprues are, are sitting down on top of the the fuselage halves and the wings themselves because the wings are right on top of the fuselage also one of the highlights of this kit are the distressed panels that are found on the fuselage and the wings themselves Interior details does include stringers and ribs, but watch out for those mold release tabs. Opening for the wing guns are provided. More distressed panels on the wings. Fine detail, rivets, recessed panel lines, separate ailerons access for wingtip lights. Internal details for the main landing gear wheel wells. Options for either the full wing down position or the wings up in the stowed position. Ammo ejectors are provided under the wing. Upper wing indicators for the position of the wing lock mechanism. The other nice touch that Airfix did is they did make it so when you're assembling the cockpit assembly everything is located on one tree rocket and bomb controls on the instrument panel separate wheels and tires the tires are flattened and they do have a nice tread pattern to them there is a little bit of flash located on the parts trees recessed ejection tabs inboard of the gear more than likely this is hidden by the landing gear 
nicely detailed 50 caliber machine guns, gun bay details, fine riveting on the engine cowlings, the engine truss mount or motor mount, very fine plumbing on the accessories for the engine, cockpit instrument panels, some more, very nice details here, very nice internal structures in the cockpit, very nicely detailed throttle quadrant, lighted instrument panel overlay, rockets if you choose to install them for the Dash 5 Hellcat. These are all the parts you'll need to assemble the engine on one single tree. We'll get a closer look. One of the things that has come out about this kit are the very close tolerances that the parts are designed. Reminds me of the Zuki Mora kit. I built one of the Zuki Mora, kit, Mora kits a couple years ago and just by the fact that I pre-painted the parts was enough to make all the parts not fit and I had a real problem getting engine cowlings on, getting the fuselage halves together. So in this case, same goes with this kit. You're gonna need to either pre-assemble everything and paint afterwards or assemble paint and then scrape off the paint before you join them to the sides of the fuselage or try to mount anything. Now, this engine case is found out to be too wide when it's put together and it's actually too wide on this part right here, right on top. Okay, So it's actually uh, thicker round on the top part than on the sides where the, where the sprues are connected. So you're going to want to carefully want to sand those down a little bit so that way your engine cylinders can slide over the top and your your rods can slide over the top. Closer look at the cylinders, the propeller, and the hub, your landing gear. Now lastly are the clear parts. They come separately wrapped and inside of this bubble wrap they are carefully packaged inside of that and once we open it up we have our clear parts. Airfix also did some slide molding for parts that are very complicated. Very clear canopies. You only get the Dash 5 canopy as the Dash 3 has another support beam running across the top and the very top is a solid round piece on top. So um, unless you can figure out how to modify this canopy, you really can't use it for a Dash 3 version of the Hellcat. Here are the kit decals to so get a little closer look at them. All your engine instruments are located on the bottom, all lined up. They do give us the stars and bars without the blue background. We do get the markings for the French Air Force used during Vietnam. And we get the Royal Navy FAA markings. This is the one I like. represents the aircraft you can find on display at the Chino Air Museum out in California. And there you have it. That was the Airfix 124 scale Grumman F6F-5 Hellcat kit. Just remember that a lot of the parts have very close tolerances, so be careful with what you decide to paint and what you want to keep open, so that way your fuselage halves will come together, your wings will come together, and all the engine components will fit in just as they should. Once you start painting this stuff, it can take everything and throw it out of whack and uh, give you some trouble. So just remember that and uh, have fun with the kit. Happy modeling, everybody. I purchased this kit from Brett at High Altitude Scale Modeling. I'll put a link below on how you can contact Brett.